Good morning. Welcome to Spinner Crooken. Spinner Crooken is a little uh, yarn shop in uh, Kongsberg, Norway, on the west side of the city. And my name is Michelle. This is my shop. Nice to have you visit. This YouTube channel is to discuss knitting and spinning and other yarn related activities. If you've been here before, welcome back. If this is your first visit, I hope you'll enjoy it. It's nice to see you. Today is Wednesday, June 29th. And on Friday, we'll, Friday will be the last day the store is open before I take my summer holiday. I'll have the store closed for four weeks. The web shop will be open for two of those weeks, but, but it'll also be closed for two weeks. I run the shop on my own, so in order to be able to have holidays, then I have to close it. I hope you understand. Anyway, it's kind of quiet this morning, but if you hear any traffic related noise, I'm sorry about that, but there is a um, street right outside in front of the store here, which is sometimes a little busy. Sometimes it's quite quiet. So I thought maybe this morning it would be quiet enough to to uh, make a little episode and let you know the status of the ongoing projects and yeah, just generally have a little chat. Look, it's finished. My ding needle. I'm so pleased with it. I've been wearing it more or less ever since it was finished, I think that's only a couple, a couple of days that I haven't been wearing it. <laughs> the Ding Me Dell is a pattern by Isabel Kramer. And uh, I was made aware of it uh, by uh, a couple of YouTube channels that uh, have got, uh, gotten together with Isabel Kramer and uh, are uh, hosting a Knit along. Uh, the one channel is uh, knit together with uh, Kim and Jana, uh, a couple of fun ladies that share their knitting projects and what's happening with uh, with their lives and and uh, I believe they're uh, I'm not sure where in the states they are, but they are based in the United States. Uh, they are together with uh, Paula from Mayak Tibetan Fibers uh, and Isabel Kramer hosting the knit along, uh, as I mentioned. And as, if I remember correctly, it runs until the end of August and you can knit any Isabel Kramer pattern in any yarn you want and you're eligible. So. I chose the Ding Needle and it is knit in Isagir uh, Marilyn, which is 80% merino and 20% linen. So it's really nice and soft. I really enjoyed knitting the pattern and the fit is perfect. I couldn't be happier. I'm just trying to figure out what colors and which yarn I'm going to pick out to make an, another one. I like it that much. I really do. And it's not very often I manage to knit something for myself that I'm as pleased with as I am with this. The only difference is I've, uh, or the only modifications I guess, uh, I've done on the on the t-shirt from the pattern is I use the Italian bind off. The pattern calls for just a normal bind off in rib pattern. 
I like the Italian bind off better. So I chose to do that. And the pattern is for a little bit longer t-shirt. I'm not very tall, so I don't like my t-shirts to be that long or my sweaters or t-shirts or tops or whatever. So um, mine is a little shorter, but it fits me perfectly. So I'm really pleased. Which is, you know, I mean, that's the one thing about making things for yourself. You really can make them fit perfectly. So patterns are just um, guidelines to help you get something that fits, fits perfectly. So, yep, I love it. Check out those channels and check out Isabel Kamer's patterns and see if you find something that uh, you'd like to knit and join the knit along. It's always fun. <laughs> you can see the pillow in the back. It's the Kuno's Cushion by Anna Winslow. It's also finished. I started it a couple, couple episodes ago, I think. One of my custom customers uh, let me know about the pattern and she was gonna gonna knit a few for her outdoor furniture. So I, uh, I liked it and thought, why not? And I'm pleased with that as well. It turned out really nice, soft and nice size. So we'll see where that ends up. I haven't finished, uh, I haven't put the zipper in in the bottom yet, so I won't pick it up. <laughs> cheating. It's propped up so you can see it. <laughs> I think I, I think I mentioned uh, in my last episode that um, I was knitting a shawl from some hand spun yarn I had. And this is how far I've gotten. What I did was start with four, cast on four stitches, and I've been increasing on one side only, every other row. And I've just let the yarn do what it wanted to do. I just love the colors. And it's such a nice way to showcase colorful yarn. I knew I didn't have enough for the entire shawl so then I chose um, Fino. Oh, that's backwards but by um, Manos del Uruguay in the color rose water as um, the edging or the uh, color number two for the rest of the shawl. It's a very pretty rose, pale rose color. It's um, hand, hand dyed uh, in Uruguay and the company is a fair trade company so it's really nice to be able to support them. They make sure that the artisans get a uh, fair wage and proper working environment, so I'm always happy to support something like that. So that's my show. I don't think I uh, had started any socks the last um, episode. I did mention that I had uh, purchased some yarn from uh, the Woolly Mammoth and uh, it had arrived and I showed, I'm pretty sure I showed it to you. Um, but I started the, or rather I'm finished, the Rosenmund socks by Sari Nurlun. They're still wet so I don't really want to stretch them out any, but they turned out really nice as well. The yarn is uh, is very nice to to knit with. The only thing is it has a little bit of uh, extra twist in it, so it 
twist back on itself when uh, when knitting so that's a little little uncomfortable but it's manageable so i'm excited about trying these socks because the yarn is not reinforced with any nylon or anything like that it's 100 percent natural um natural wool so i'm looking forward to trying it out to see how uh, strong they actually are if they're durable um, once um, once i start using them i'm hoping to be able to spin my own sock yarn at some point and this will give me a good idea about what i have to do what result i need to achieve We'll see when I get to spin some sock yarn. Maybe in the fall. I um, started another pair of socks. Uh, this is also f from the wo Woolly Mammoth. And it's kind of a pale lavender. Dust dusty kind of color. I like it. Um, these socks are also from Sari Norden. They are the Ariel socks, Ariel. And they're lacy socks and I've just started them. These are knit from the toe up and I'm knitting them on Chayu shorties, 2.25. The pattern calls for 2.5 but I knit a little too loose to use 2.5. I knit the Rosenlin socks on 2.5 and I think I should have used 2.25 so that's why I'm using 2.25 on, on the next pair. Both of these sock patterns are part of Sari's Summer Sock, she, 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 summer sock 2022 <laughs> knit along. I believe she, the idea behind that is if you have three skeins of sock yarn, uh, you can knit two pairs of socks with one skein each and the leftovers as well as the third skein um, will be enough for a third pair. It's either three or four pairs. I, I'm not quite sure. I probably should have checked it out. <laughs> Sorry about that. But anyway, the idea is really kind of um, kind of nice because uh, when knitting socks, you usually have leftovers. So if uh, she can manage to figure out patterns that will work out so that you can get to use up most of your yarn with a few skeins, then I think that's pretty smart. So. I thought I'd join along and see if I could manage to complete everything. So we'll see how that works out. So that was an um, update on my projects that are ongoing. And I don't think I have anything else that's finished to show you today. I really just wanted to pop in and, and uh, let you know that I'm off on holiday this soon and that the, uh, the store will be closed. Um, I do have a couple of uh, um, I guess maybe announcements. As you probably know, if you are a fan of Icelandic wool or Icelandic yarn, Lopi, they've had a lot of trouble producing enough uh, after the or during the problems they've had with the pandemic and after that. Uh, so there's been a shortage actually, and the Lopi yarn was one of my best sellers so for me it was kind of um, yeah, a setback uh, as well as for my customers because obviously it being a bestseller that means my customers come here <laughs> and expect to have uh, a 
silky yarn available but uh, it hasn't been easy to get but I did get uh, a notice yesterday from my supplier that some new colors are arriving and I will be getting them in in August when uh, I get back and the stores open again so that is really good news <laughs> um, I might be able to uh, see if I can get them in as soon as I open we'll see whether it's the first week or, or the second week but I have ordered and uh, it will arrive in August so fingers crossed nothing else is gonna happen <laughs> and I was uh, really pleased uh, that uh, a supplier that I've been admiring for quite a while reached out a little while ago and uh, wondered if they could send me some samples and if I might be interested in, um, in their yarns. And so I received the samples and I love the yarn. I actually managed to knit up uh, two swatches in two of the yarn samples that I received. Uh, and the uh, the yarn is from to Mayak Tibetan Fibers, actually. So I'm really looking forward to working with them. They are based in Italy. The yarn is produced in Italy. The fiber is from Tibet, and it's uh, ethically sourced and all, yeah, naturally done. So I'm just learning all about how the um, how the uh, the fibers are are sourced and uh, I'll come back when I know more about it but I'll put a link to their website um, in the show notes so that you can have a look but the fibers are from uh, yak uh, mainly and uh, the first the first swatch I made is in a combination of yak and cotton and it is so soft and it feels kind of almost dry in a way, <clears throat> very nice to the touch. I knit this sample up in um, 3.5 mil millimeter needles and it's just lovely. I think it works out to 24 stitches for 10 centimeters. It's called uh, Koopa. I hope that's how it's pronounced. And it's baby yarn and organic cotton. Light fingering. So this is beautiful. I really like that. I'm looking forward to uh, trying more of that and the other swatch I made is in 50% uh, baby yak and 50% silk and, oh it is so light and soft and smooth very smooth finish I just really love that it just feels so almost rich in a way kind of um you, you can almost feel that the silk is uh, kind of um, giving it a, a sheen you can see that uh, in the fabric and uh, you can really feel that it's soft and and just 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 lovely just oh I'm gonna enjoy making something out of that so hopefully I'll be able to uh, bring some of that yarn in as well when I get back in August so stay tuned I'll keep you updated on it 
aside from the YouTube channel, um, I'm on uh, Facebook and Instagram as Spin and Crooked. And I hope you check that out if you're interested in following along with the daily posts or weekly posts or whatever it is that uh, turns up there. Uh, I do have an online uh, shop as well. Uh, it's uh, spinnercrooking.com. Uh, all of the links will be available for you. Just a short uh, episode t today. Uh, as I said, I just want to check in right before the holidays and let you know the latest and uh, wish you all a very nice summer. And if you're off on holidays soon, I hope you enjoy them. If you're already on holidays, I hope you're having a good time. And I wish everybody happy knitting. Take care. Bye.